guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. I was using that as a mirror. <laughs> Just to put my hair up into like a messy pyramid. I'm off to the hairdressers tomorrow. Oh, to get these roots done, which definitely need it. I'm overdue an appointment. But this morning, I'm just popping over to B&M. So I thought it's been a while since I've done a kind of B&M home bargain shop and haul. And I just want to see what's new in, really. I'm not intending on getting, like, a full haul's worth. So that's why I thought I'd pick up the camera, vlog, see what I do find in B&M, show you guys. And then tomorrow, before I go to the hairdressers, I will take you to home bargains. Because... There's a pretty good one near my old hairdresser, my old hairdressers, my hairdressers, which is where I used to live. It's towards Burnley Way. So Burnley have quite a few home bargains. So yeah, it's a good place to try and see what is new in home bargains and what's there tomorrow. So I don't know if you can hear them upstairs. It's like a shh sound. I don't actually know what they're doing. Hoovering, they're hoovering. Um, they are starting to lay the flooring in uh, the well, the kind of like kitchen extension area. That's their priority and their focus because we're wanting to get the joiner back in ASAP to fit the rest of the kitchen, the island and everything like that, which is so exciting. Finally making some big progress, hopefully over the next few days. I did grab a Costa for this morning's walk, which was a nice treat. I do love a coffee. For our morning walk so he's gone he's taken himself off to bed anyway that's my cue to leave so let's head over to b &M. so high there we go well, that's as low as that's as low as it goes so just done in b&m did get a few bags full so i probably could have just done a b&m haul but oh well um firstly hello laura if you're watching so lovely to meet you in there um i got a few bits and i did that typical got to the till saw something in someone's basket and thought oh, really so I was stood in the queue and I was like, oh, there's people behind me. Do I leave the queue or do I just stay here and commit now that I've got a good position? I thought, no, I'm here. I'm going to go back and get it. So some photo frames. I'm, I'll just show you them now. But how gorgeous are these like rustic wooden frames. This is the larger one at £4.50. And then I'll, I'll show you them better at home. But And then this one's the smaller one at £3.50. I just saw them and I was like, I'm going to have to go back for them maybe even go back for more once we've put everything in its place at home once we've finished the ground floor renovations and start styling up then i might um i might go back and get some more of those because i really like them even the bigger one like actually wall mounted as well i think will be really nice so anyway i am gonna head back via aldi i've got a bit of food shopping that i need to do and then i'll pick you guys back up again tomorrow for a little home bargains trip a pre hairdressers home bargains trip it's been you all along but i've been too caught up to see it baby we can have it all if I just could get myself together I'm not wasting another minute If it goes up in flames, I'll take the pain if I... It's 
a glorious day. You may be able to tell I have actually already had my hair done. So I've already been into Home Bargains this morning. I've basically had a bit of a switch up of plans. <laughs> my intention when I come to the hairdressers is to drop him off at daycare. Him being the dog that's in the boot. Um, drop him off at daycare for the day. Come over. Quick home bargains trip. Go into the hairdressers and then drive home to pick him up. However, he has cracked his nail and it's not bad or anything it wasn't bleeding at all but i just didn't want to put him in daycare um and we have like free video vet calls with many pets our pet insurance so it was quite good because i just quickly jumped on with them just to show them the claw and or try and show them the claw and they said yeah he's just keep it clean basically try and do lead walks for a little bit just to get him to his nail to start repairing. I'm loving my new hair. Um, so I took him with me today. Now I did have the grand old help of Tom's mum, thankfully, to watch him for a couple of hours, but then she had to get off. So I said um, to my hairdresser and she was like, she loves dogs. So she was like, oh my God, bring him. So um, yeah, Tom's mum, bless her, very kindly had Barney for a couple of hours this morning then dropped him off at the hairdressers who is a very good boy considering he's petrified of hair dryers and she dropped him off just as the hair dryer was on my hair. Uh, but he was fine, he was really good. And yeah, so good boy. If ever I need to take him again, I'd feel confident that he'd be fine in the hairdressers, which is good. Um, so anyway, I am now just about to head back from the hairdressers back home. There is a Starbucks on route. I'm feeling, mind you, it's quite fresh outside. I was going to say an oat milk cortado hot coffee. It's quite sunny. So who knows, maybe we'll go for an iced option today. Or maybe not, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head back. I have got a, um, a small bag from Home Bargains to show you because I have only just recently done a little Home Bargains trip where I showed you some bits that I got. Um, but I have got lots from b &M. So let's get on the road, let's get home. And we're very excited, we're full of energy today because we're picking up Tom from the airport after being two weeks in India. So I'm excited to see him. I am gonna take Barney. I will probably film a little reunion of letting him run up to Tom in the airport and go and say hello. Let's get on the road. Let's show you some new in shopping bits and eat my sandwich, which I didn't have at the hairdressers, but I'm now starving. So I'm gonna eat that. Cheese and onion, delish, and Diet Coke. Caffeine free, of course. <laughs> for a story time because I feel like there's a bit of a story here. Hey, you can have, in fact, I'll give you a bigger tree. I'll give you a nice dentist stick, shall we? Go and get You're gonna just take it to your bed? Anyone else has dog do this? They're too polite to take it. Go on, you can take it, okay? You go take it to your bed? No, I have to put it down for him and then he'll have it. <laughs> anyway right so I've just had to call the place 101 non-emergency because I was like well it's not 909 well it could have been just driving home on the motorway and this erratic car behind me I could see him swerving in and out of traffic you know you get those drivers that just if the fast lane isn't fast enough for them they're going to try and weave through everyone else to get in front of everyone which fair enough if you've got an emergency and you need to get somewhere. But there's a difference between that and an idiot driver. And usually I'm the sort of person that just, I always say to Tom, like, if anyone drives like that, just, just let them pass. It's not worth the accident. It's not worth the hassle. And you never know. They could have the wife giving birth on the front seat next to them. Let them go. But this guy, he was just by himself in the car. And he kept on, um, right, so when he swerved into, I was in the fast lane with the car in front of me, so I could, it's not like I could go any faster. And he swerved, cut me out, cut me off to like get in front. And this is after seeing him behind in my rear view mirror weaving in and out of traffic. So when he swerved me, I thought, I'm beeping this car. And I don't get road rage, I never beep my beep. I wasn't even sure if it was gonna beep, but it beeped. <laughs> and um, And wow, he didn't like that. So he purposely tried, he was following me basically, intimidating me. I was trying to like hold back to so let him just go off and do his thing. I was like clocking his reg play and make a model of the car. 
and um, just kind of like just let him go I'm not interested I was kind of like hiding behind a lorry at one point anyway I thought I'd lost him and I came back out into the fast lane he saw me and he slowed down nearly caused a car behind him to crash into him he put his foot on the brakes so that I'd caught up and he was like driving next to me swerved to go into me and I thought this is just not worth it so again I slowed down got back called 101 this was after like several attempts of him trying to basically he wanted me to pull over for what so you can shout at me this like full-grown 40 year old bloke to shout at me by myself for all I was doing was putting my hand on the horn when he nearly crashed into me anyway I thought I am gonna have to report this because if anything happens if he well he it would cause an accident if he carries on driving like that but if anything were to happen and I hadn't reported it I'd have been annoyed at myself so I reported it done is done I mean at one point I thought he's gonna end up like sticking with me and following me home at this right and I was thinking what am I gonna do if he like takes the same exit as me anyway I just let him go I, I slowed right down I was in with the lorries, not going anywhere, just letting him get way ahead of me so that I could lose him. But on a lighter note, how cute is this? Tom's mum for Easter. It's obviously Easter weekend. By the time you're watching this, a couple of days before for me, my parents are coming on Saturday. So mum's like, I've got you an Easter egg. I was just filled upstairs. And let's just make sure Barney's staying down here. I feel like my nose looks a bit red. I need to put some powder on. Um, anyway, I said to my mum when I was I called her after calling the police because I was a bit like, oh, let me call someone. And I said, oh, Norma's got us some little Easter eggs. She's so cute. And she baked us these. Easter is not an Easter without some cornflake cupcakes. Am I right? Or am I right? I was thinking I could have baked them actually without having an oven or anything because um, I'm desperate to like get into cooking and baking and everything like that. Maybe not cooking, baking. Um, but I suppose they're easy enough to do without an oven. But anyway, she's the cutest. And my mum says, well, I've got you and Tom eggs this year, um, lint ones, and they're quite like tall and narrow. And I was like, you probably got us the same ones to be fair, but we're happy with that. And I've got us a hotel chocolate Easter egg. So we are more than set for this weekend, Easter weekend, and what a weekend. Tom coming back, he has got two cricket matches, which, for him to come straight home and into two cricket matches isn't ideal, but he has got the day off tomorrow, so I think we're going to go for a nice walk. I've taken the B&M bits upstairs, so I'll show you those in a second. Whilst I'm down here, home bargains. Didn't get loads, actually. Just a few bits. See, Mrs. Hinch has got a new... Oh, I can smell that without even needing to open it. So she's got a whole new range of like her faves, her new products, and this one is... Now it says pink tulips and white jasmine, which ordinarily I would just say no thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. But up here it says country garden edition. And I know she likes the country garden um, Zaflora, which is quite nice. I do quite like that. However, this is probably more floral. Not my favorite if I'm being completely honest, but I'm just a sucker for a new product, <laughs> new scent. I got these stackable boxes which i thought would be good in the utility that's my phone um for packet mixers and stuff like that to have them all organized within these i'll probably end up going back for more of these sort of things but for now what i'm doing is all the kind of like boxes and um like these kind of things these like jars and everything i'm just getting a couple of not going overboard so that i can actually kind of see how they fit into the cu cupboards before organizing my whole new kitchen and pantry which i can't wait i feel like i'm going to be spoiled for space for all of these kind of stuff because beforehand i've always wanted that aesthetically pleasing kitchen cupboards pantry organization but let's be real practically speaking most of the time we just haven't got the space in kitchen cupboards to be able to like have everything out and organized anyway i've got those at 1.99 each and then i've got this new dog bowl for barney how nice is this because usually these like aesthetically pleasing nice simple cream bone bowls like this they're always in like the really small sizes b&m have got some actually i think i've got a clip of it with eat and drink on and they've got like a stone bottom beautiful they're like cat sized 
or like really really small dog size and he needs a big bowl so yeah i was happy when i saw this this was 199 or 299 i have got a nice delsford farm one which i'm kind of saving for upstairs but for now i think this one's lovely and then i've got a another one of the 1001 carpet prep fresh whatever they're called carpet freshness but upstairs thai orchid and passion fruit so i've got another one of those and then last but not least gosh it's very barney heavy the home bargains bit um, they've got these cooling mats, which I know B&M did last year, and they're amazing. Honestly, these are, like, so good for Barney. In the warmer months, he'll just flat out lie on it, inside, outside, wherever it is, and he just seems to love it. So, uh, yeah, this one is the largest one they had. If we're going off the size of that golden on the mat, this one does look smaller than the one that I had from B&M last year, but um, hopefully... I mean, that's Barney on the front, isn't it? So let's face it, he should fit on there. Yeah, they're just really good. They were eight pounds. I think the B&M ones, again, from memory as well, are double that price. So I thought that was really, really reasonable. So I picked that up. I'm going to reward myself for being brave, speaking to the police, after a bit of a chaotic car journey home. Like, if you know me, having to call the police, like, that for me is just, I would never do that. Any kind of idiot drivers, they just, in my eyes, I see the positive in each and every individual and I give them the benefit of the doubt and I just, like I say, make an excuse like they could be on route to hospital for some reason, so let them go. But not today. I was not having that. Chocolate treat. And then I'm gonna head up and show you the B&M bits. So simple. So yeah, Barney's come up with me. I've just come upstairs to show you the B&M bits that sneak peek as well into my next video. Zara haul coming very soon. Um, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it, shall we? First thing I've got this. I'm gonna try and pop this on this afternoon actually before picking up to Helmer. I wanna just have a quick freshen up of his bathroom. And he's got all of his products just on the floor. So I'm gonna see if this works keep you posted on whether or not that holds up. Then I saw this reducing the clearance. I thought about doing a potential white company dupes video soon, but um, I've seen that they've done, they do online these like kind of seagrass, rattan um, lanterns, especially into summer for like outdoor living. But anyway, I saw this one from b and reducing the sale, so I decided to pick it up. Eight pounds down to four. Obviously you don't have to use this outside. I was kind of thinking, putting it inside maybe in the kitchen somewhere so yeah it's just got the little glass container in the middle for um well if you wanted to put like your own candle in and yeah four pound bargain sale find showed you those photo frames as well didn't i in the car yesterday still have them still just as much in love with them as i was yesterday three pound fifty and four pound fifty i just it's the rustic kind of like wooden finish to them that I like. They're not like an orangey wood. They're just really kind of country, farmhouse, modern, traditional vibe that I'm loving. I'm just mood boarding for our downstairs toilet. I think, well, I went on to Jim Lawrence to order a load of lighting for, not a load of lighting, wall lights and a ceiling light for the downstairs bathroom and they've emailed me saying, just want to check this order that you've processed are you intending on putting these lampshades on those lights because that won't work and neither will that one <laughs> i can't get anything right <laughs> the amount of stuff i've ordered either incorrectly wrong sizes i just it's hectic i honestly don't know how interior designers do it as much as i always think oh i'd love to do interior design it's hard um so why did i get onto that Oh, anyway, yeah, so the fact that I'm mood boarding for the kitchen, I was, I went on to that from the fact that I was talking about green because I like a green wallpaper with these pheasants on, which I think we're gonna go for with tongue and groove paneling halfway up the wall. That's how I got onto telling you a story about Jim Lawrence lighting. Anyway, let's move on to some new things. So I've got in our utility room, these wool balls. They're actually from Steamery, which I love, but because they're like, I have them in a glass jar kind of on display, I honestly don't reach for them that often. So I feel like having these B&M versions to hand that aren't in the jar, just kind of like always in the tumble dryer, I thought would quite like work quite well for me. Reduces static cling 
allows hot air to circulate better so that you reduce your drying time by up to 20%. So £3.50 these are for a set of three. And obviously if you like the whole aesthetic of how I've displayed mine in a glass jar, then obviously these are a lot cheaper than the steamery ones. So yeah, Spring Blossom. Is this a new scent or not? I don't think I've ever had it before, but the Bim Buddy, Fresh Bim Buddy. I've got this set this new set of cleaning sponges. I was on the hunt for, in both Home Bargains and BNL actually, for a replacement of my Scrub Mummy, because I prefer the Scrub Mummy to Scrub Daddy, you know, where it's got a softer side on one side. And I quite like the fact that the Scrub Mummy that I have is the gray one. Just, it's on display in our kitchen, our kitchen, kitchen, utility room, it's like a temporary kitchen at the minute. Because it's gray, I quite like the gray and white sponge rather than like a big garish orange or green but i can't find it anywhere i saw a gray scrub daddy but not a scrub mummy but anyway i saw these and i thought this could be quite a nice replacement instead at two pounds you've got three refills with it as well and yes one of those fill with detergent the handles and it just it's like an auto dispense type brush i got this and the lady who i bumped into laura at bnm when i went she also had this in her basket, and I said, yeah, got that too. Crisp lemon is just always a good fail-safe scent for when cleaning. I need some vermouth pet hair dissolvers. And then I got this in the kitchen section, five pounds. It's one of those Lazy Susans. I have seen in this, this in there before, but not picked it up because, again, I was just quite far away from having a finished kitchen, but not so much anymore, as you will soon find out. So for five pound, uh, I just thought this would be nice to pop with. It's not too big, so it hopefully will fit within a cupboard where I've got food and stuff that I can just pop maybe like all of the oils and stuff on to be able to easily access all of them. And then Easter edition. So I had to pick up a pack of these. They are just the best. The Galaxy Creamy Truffle Mini Eggs. So, so yum. I got this wooden handle blind duster. We've got shutters in the front um, of... Oh, they're super soft, actually. Um, in the front of the house. And £3.50. I thought this would be a really nice little cleaning tool to be able to, like, dust down all of the uh, shutters. I've not seen this flavour hot chocolate before. If I just fancy, like, a quick instant hot chocolate, these Galaxy ones. I always think Galaxy... Well, actually, no, Cadbury's is good hot chocolate, too. But, anyway, the instant birthday cake flavoured hot chocolate. I'm assuming it's probably going to be, like, yeah, white hot chocolate sticks with mini marshmallows and coloured strands. Oh, so is it not even birthday cake flavoured? It's just white hot chocolate. I did get myself a, another Zaflora a kind of seasonal Zaflora because I had a few stock ups of Christmas ones but not many spring summer ones and this one is one of my favourites. Is it my favourite? I'm going to say it's my favourite scent to use in summer. I do like lemon zing as well but this one I prefer, the mandarin and lime. Got another one of those and then I've got a brush to go this is going to go like by the back door into the utility because that's where we have the muddiest boots. Post dog walk, we go straight down into the utility to wash off Barney and uh, brush down our boots. And I've got one that sits out, but I'm always reluctant to use it because it's a really nice like Zara home one and I kind of have it sat out on the stool. And when I have used it, it gets that caked in mud that I'm like, oh, I just want a dense, cheaper one that will do the job and I'm not too precious about it getting ruined. Two pound. I also got one of these little candle plates. Well, I mean, I use them as candle plates for like my botanical candles from the White Company or pillar candles. They're only £2.50. They do a few different sizes. But yeah, these are just good for like these single individual pillar candles. And this is an example of one, but also just a gorgeous one. Can I add? Perfect colour for our new space downstairs. Um, this is from the Eden Life range, this pillar candle. I like the fact that it's got like the kind of ridged edging and yeah really nice just simple like sage olive green candle at two pounds and fifty pence and that guys is everything that i've picked up from b and home parkins i hope you guys have enjoyed spending the day with me thank you for watching sending all my love i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video and have a lovely rest of your day bye guys Bye guys! That was a really high pitched. Apologies for that. <laughs>